dogs waiting for your mark. We've lost the lead. Dogs incoming. What is up guys, this is Frostbite, and in the background is a gameplay uh, on Black Ops 1. I told you my next video was going to be on Black Ops 1, and um, it's on the map launch, and I got like 20-something kills and a few deaths, so enjoy. And what I want to talk about in this video is what Call of Duty as a series is doing wrong. I'm not talking about each specific game here, but COD as a series of games, as a franchise, so don't expect me to go on a rant about noob tubes or game wars or whatnot. Also, it's my own opinion, so if you disagree, don't like hate on me, you don't start flame wars or anything. So, let's have back some background checks. COD is the mo world's most popular video game, mostly on consoles though, and even though I play on a PC, and it's attracted lots and lots of players. Now, if the developers and Activision, the publisher, wanted to ride on their success as a series and get the most money out of the series, which they do, it makes sense that they would release a game every year, which they are doing. I know a lot of people complain that the games are rushed more and more, but and they're not putting so much effort into making them, but in the end, they're just doing this for the bucks, right? If it wasn't, <laughs> COD would be free, right? And would cost $60, which is like a super high price for a video game, even though it's a AAA title and it's supposed to be all famous and whatnot. But it's not easy to come up with new material to put into the game every year. But they're doing it. And that is what they're doing wrong. In an effort to, to stuff more things into the game every year, they're putting too much unnecessary bullshit into the, into the game. I thought of an analogy. Uh, a Thanksgiving turkey. The huge ones, you know. Um, there's usually lots of stuffing inside, and that makes it even more delicious. But if one year, your family decided that the turkey had to be better than the last year, and the next year you wanted the turkey to be better than the previous year, and so on and so forth, so basically you want every year's turkey to be better than the last. So whoever makes the, tur the turkey has to put more stuffing and more varieties of stuffing inside the poor bird. But not everyone likes to eat everything, right? So maybe you don't like onions, and one year they put onions in just to add one more ingredient to make it better. But does it really make it better? Or or is it just adding more stuffing, you know, just for the sake of adding more stuff, so it will attract you to buy and eat it? So, using this food analogy, I hope you get this point now. Um, what I've been seeing in the last few Call of Duties is the developers trying to get attract more players to buy their game, of course, and wanting more selling points. They build in unnecessary features that just bog the game down, and nobody wants them anyway. COD 4, the Modern Warfare, is treated as the best COD ever made. But why would a game re made in 2007, which is like fucking 6 years ago, I'm old, better than a game released last year? Well, because it was simple, straightforward, and it still had enough features to be fun. Um, it, it introduced perks, which was revolutionary at the time. Uh, it had great guns and great maps. You know, it was it had motherfucking night vision. <laughs> but um, what it didn't also what what it didn't have also made it fun. Everyone had the same kill streaks, and they weren't really powerful. There was the five three five seven kill streak combo. You know, remember guys? There were no scenarios like walking around minding your own business and then suddenly getting your ass blown off because of the Warthog or the AC-130. It was gun on gun. All gunfights had player interaction. And it had better hit detection than the last two COD games, which I have no fucking idea why. Now, let's talk about Black Ops 2. For me, and many of my Steam friends agree, by the way, the best thing that happened in BO2 was the pick 10 class system. That was awesome. I agree. But there were plenty of flaws in Black Ops 2. The matchmaking, my friend said it took him way too long to find a game compared to the last Call of Duty. The score streaks, which took like twice as many kills to get. Uh, for example, a UAV took 5 kills. I had to get a bloodthirsty to get a UAV. Uh uh. And the hit detection sucked. Well, it's like if someone gets the first shot on you, even if you shoot him back, you might as well be firing a bubble gun, because there are no hit markers and you will never kill him. 
like, no fucks given for the second guy, okay? You get shot first, you dead. <laughs> I guess out of the, uh, out of the examples, 10 things that Treyarch added to, um, Black Ops 2 from Black Ops 1, about only 2 or 3 were useful and actually good. The others, you know, just were average, unnoticeable, or sucked. But at least Treyarch patches things. Infinity Ward just does the Harlem Shake. So the too long didn't read version of, of my commentary is this. The thing that the COD series is doing wrong is that they add too many features that we don't want or need. Just to make people, you know, feel like it is a different game, not recycled. But the best games don't even change that much. Take Counter-Strike, right? It's an awesome game. And, you know, the, the, the sequels don't really change that much. Except the graphics. Um, so, a message to Infinity Ward. Just fucking remake COD 4.